Hey guys, and welcome back to more Story of Seasons. Today is the Harvest Festival, so we're going to be participating in that today. Uh, so we have to go to the Trading Depot between 10 and 2. I think, or 10 and 1. Do you want to participate in the Harvest Festival? Yes, I do. And we're gonna enter a peach, actually. Because it has a better star rating than our tomato. So, that will win, but we can try. Oh, this guy again. Welcome everyone to this year's Summer Harvest Festival. Allow me to introduce our contestants in the fruits category. The biggest fruit of all. Fritz. And Fifi, never seen her before. And uh, Almond. Oh wait, no, Drunk Drunkoff. And he has an almond. Okay. And I have a big peach butt. Hyrule Farms. Kida here to show the farm's finest peach. The renowned horticulture expert Matsuba. How dare, folks, I'm Matsuba, a specialist in horticulture. If you're ready to crop till you drop, I'm your man. I've got some fantastic entries today, and I'm going to take a real close look at each and every one of them. We will now begin the judging segment of the competition. Alright. Gross, Fritz. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems the judging has concluded. In first place, the winner of this year's Summer Harvest Festival is... Oh my gosh, we won, guys! That is insane! I did not think we were gonna win. That's crazy. What did we win? <laughs> okay. I will step forward, ma'am. Congrats, congrats. You did some good work. I was really impressed with the entry you presented. Why, thank you. I've spread a lot of poop on that tree to get where I am today. Did he just give me a book? Our peach brand is now bronze brand. This means that you can ship your peach for a little more money. Oh, okay. So as you win festivals, then that crop you end up getting more money for that specific crop if you win. I am still shocked that we won. That's awesome. Eh, hey, you lost, Fritz. Seeing the fruit in today's festival gave me a great idea for a new dessert. Maybe I'll try making it when I get back home. If it goes well, how about you stop by and give it a try on the house, since your fruit was one of the ones that inspired it. Heck yes I will, sir. Okay, so we're gonna go into the general store. And um, we need a sickle uh, to cut down the tomato plants because they regrow. So we're going to have to do that tomorrow. So we're going to buy a sickle. And I guess while we're here, we'll buy the clippers because they're not that expensive. So I think we don't need to buy fertilizer anymore, like ever, because we can just make it. So I think we're good for right now. Okay, so we are going to chop these all down. I figured we'd do it today because tomorrow we are going to need stamina to probably um, plant a bunch of crops, so we'll do it today. And it has been brought to my attention that these were actually our crops that we could have harvested, but I didn't realize that. And we can actually use uh, this area because it's technically ours, so good to know. Did not know that. So we'll be taking advantage of that. 
and it is the last day of summer, so goodbye summer, we are going into fall now. Oh, and it's raining, so the cows need to go inside, like now. Well, but first, let's read the map. Um, everyone has new items in stock. Well, Cabin Country and the General Store does, anyway. Um, and then apparently this year's theme for Fall Fashion Fiesta has been decided. It is fashionable in fall and winter. All participants please have an outfit in the above theme ready by Fall 13. I don't think we can do that, but okay, you need to get your big butt inside. Go. Go. Yes, I know you're mad. Get inside. Have none of this sass. I don't know what I just did. 2% got huge all of a sudden. Where did that come from? Okay, so we have um, carrot seeds, which is a crop that grows well in autumn, takes six to seven days to harvest. And then we have sweet potatoes, which a crop that grows well in the autumn takes five to six days to harvest and grows back every one to two days for a while after. Then we have tea leaves, um, a small tree that produces tea leaves in every season but winter. It takes about a month to bear its first crop and leaves grow back every four to five days. That's pretty cool. Probably will plant one of those. We've got some carrot seeds. And we'll buy, all, we'll buy pretty much all of this. Oh, my bag is full? Okay. Yeah. Be like that. Alright, so let's see what Cabin Country and Silk Country have. I'm not sure if they're both there today or not. I don't even know if one of them is there today. I'm hoping. Alright. Cabin Country. Okay, well I can sell some of the stuff and make room in my inventory at least. Oh wow, look at all the yarn they suddenly have. Um, they have a bunch of carrot seeds, so I think I'm just gonna buy all of those. Uh, cause we're gonna keep wanting to plant them anyway, so... Buy a bunch of those. And, ooh, we could buy the regular sickle thing. But we're probably not going to use that as much. Mm, regular clippers, think about that. Oh, we need gold. I think we will buy the regular hammer, though. Because then we can start clearing the field of some of those giant um, rocks. And I think... I think we're going to buy a sheep today. Because we're going to need the wool soon, so I think we're going to buy a sheep, throw it in Bimu, and we shall name it Nimbus the Sheep. Yes. I'm sure we'll be getting another sheep, probably, so leave your uh, name suggestions in the comments. That would be much appreciated. Oh, look at our little sheepy. That bang sound. Wow, the sheep throws the wool at me too. How nice. Okay, we have some crops to plant. Plant some more carrots over here. And luckily for us, they're already watered because it's raining. Sweet potatoes here. 
didn't have many of those. And now we're gonna make that hammer. So we can start getting rid of these... And start getting rid of these, uh, rocks that are everywhere. There we go. Yep, we made the hammer. It's going to take some effort to break, apparently. Okay, well, um, I think that's going to do it for this episode. We are finally in fall, and we won our first festival, so that was awesome. So, I think next time we will be getting either the sewing studio or possibly doing a festival. We will have to see what comes first. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.